Hi there, it's Lee here for iMine Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be sharing with you how to mine Zcash using Ubuntu. So, a lot of you guys I know are obviously interested in Windows, so look out for my other video, which will be the Windows version of this. Um, but this one is going to be focused on Zcash mining on Ubuntu. So, I've got Ubuntu installed uh, via a virtual box, so that's Ubuntu basically running within Windows. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're running in a virtual uh, box or if you're using a standalone version of Ubuntu, the, the process will be the same. So within Ubuntu, what we need to do is actually open up a terminal first. So you press Control, Alt and T, which is a shortcut to open up the terminal window. And then I've actually already saved some a text file, which includes all the shortcuts so I can just kind of uh, copy and paste and go through this with you um, I'll put all these uh, this information in the actual uh, description of this video so you can just copy and paste as well so the first part is we need this which is a uh, dependency that we need to get we need to get that before we can run the rest of the program so I'm just going to copy and paste so it's sudo app dash get install qt5 dash default and then we just press enter we need to enter a password you need to enter yours of course and so then what it will do is it will read through the actual uh, dependency and it will download and install as required um, I've actually already done this so for me it doesn't really do very much but for you guys it will download the whole thing and install it um, pretty straightforward you won't really need to do anything more than that so then the next part is the actual getting the actual miner itself so we're going to clone it from the github repo which is uh, available to us so once again I'm just going to copy and paste um, I won't read it all out line by line, but I'll just go through the process with you. So that's downloading that now. Okay, that's completed. We're back to the uh, main line. And then we need to make a new folder for it. Oh, sorry, that's actually not make a new folder, that's actually uh, to go into the actual folder, sorry. So we're changing directory and we're going into the nheq miner. Then we need to do make directory and we need to make the directory is called build. So mkdir space build. That makes the new directory and then we need to go into that directory so change directory space build and now we need to do the next line which is q make space dot dot uh, I think I typed all that right so q make space dot dot forward slash nheq minor forward slash nheq minor dot pro and enter so that's done and then we need to do make that's make and enter so if you're not familiar with this uh, what we've done is we've basically downloaded the raw kind of files the source files from the github repo we've made a folder for them We've made a secondary folder within that where we can actually build the files and then we've built the files uh, within that folder so that's just what's happening now and then after that we'll basically have a miner that we can actually use um, in a normal fashion it'll work just like a regular program okay that's completed now so i'll just show you the actual uh, file directory so you can see if from the actual home uh, main uh, default folder, you've got this NHEQ miner. And then in there you can see build, which is the one that we created. And then this is the actual miner executable itself. So uh, one of the things that you can do first of all, if you type from, from the same location, so you're in NHEQ miner forward slash build, that's the folder or the directory that you're currently in. Um, what you can do is dot forward slash NHEQ minor and then if you do dash uh, B it'll run a benchmark and it'll just basically give you kind of um, like a brief uh, performance test so let's uh, hit enter 
It will take a minute or two to go through. Uh, bearing in mind, this is also a virtual machine, so this kind of Ubuntu box doesn't have full access to the whole computer resources. Um, I've currently set it to um, four cores and I've got an i7-950, so I'm not expecting amazing results from this. And um, yeah, like I said, this video is really just for demonstration before, uh, uh, purposes, so don't be so disappointed when you see the, ash, the actual hash rate is, uh, is quite low. You, you guys will probably get a much faster hash rate. Okay, so we've got an actual benchmark there. So it says our speed is uh, 3.2 hashes per second. Um, and like I say, that is, um, you know, just on my sort of basis, I'm pretty sure it go much faster with a dedicated box that has access to um, all of the CPU resources. Okay, so continuing on, um, the actual um, miner is built by a nice hash. So what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna connect to the nice hash network and it's gonna sell your hashing power uh, in exchange for Bitcoin. So that's how the nice hash um, miner works. So what we need to do is, um, I've actually got this in a sort of a text file, so I'll just break it down each piece uh, bit by bit for you. So to get started with this, you're gonna need a Bitcoin address. So this is mine here. Um, if you like this video, of course, uh, feel free to you know donate, send me some bits, um, I'd appreciate that. The next part is the actual call to the miner. So you've got, this is the call to the actual program itself. Then you've got dash L, and dash L stands for location. So it's where the server is actually gonna be located. There's uh, um, a couple of different options. I think there's four. Um, so I think it's USA, EU, uh, Russia, and I'm not sure, I think there's another one um, somewhere. Um, you can look into that yourselves. But to make you aware, the ones, the only one that I found actually working, I did try the EU one because um, I'm obviously in the UK, but the only one that actually worked for me um, at the time of making this video was the USA one. So you guys might just wanna try, um, as I've got it with the, the location set to USA. The second part is your username. So it's dash U, then space. And then you have your, the first part is your Bitcoin address that you want to use. Then you've got a dot or a period. And then you've got your worker name or nickname. Um, one other thing I would say as well, don't have your worker name uh, too many characters. I'm not too sure, but uh, I think there's an actual character limit on the worker name. So have it six or seven characters, just, just make something up. So you've got your Bitcoin address and then you've got your nickname. The next part is obviously another space there. Then you've got dash T and dash T stands for the amount of CPU threads. So the basically you wanna have uh, one CPU thread uh, per core on your CPU in most cases. So if you've got a four core CPU, um, you probably wanna use uh, three threads if you wanna like a little bit of uh, extra leeway or four threads. Um, to use the full um, power of your actual CPU. So I've just got it set to threads as one, and I'll just sort of uh, leave that as it is. So I'm just gonna copy this whole line, and um, hopefully I'll break that down for you. Um, as always, if you've got any questions or comments, just put those in the comments box below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. So I'm just gonna paste that on the actual command line there, and then we're gonna press enter, and that'll get the miner running. So, you can see it connects to the actual server. So it's starting minor, starting one thread or thread zero, and then it authorizes the worker, gets a new job, and you can see we're sort of off and mining. So the actual speed currently is uh, 0.33 there. Um, not particularly fast, so it's picking up a little bit, 0.07 uh, hashes per second. And it will just go through and it will accept shares and it will submit to them to the actual uh, network. Obviously, as time continues, you should get um, slightly higher performance. Um, the actual overall system performance will sort of kind of balance it out and you get more of a steady um, hash rate. Because also like the difficulty is changing as well. And uh, if you have higher difficulty, um, your CPU spends more time basically working on the problem uh, rather than going backwards and forwards collecting jobs. So that's, um, but that'll pick up as you, as you continue on. So you can see it there. Um, and that's that running basically, so not too much more that. I'll just um, I'll just close it. Um, I'll just show you how it works if I use uh, four threads. 
uh, just see what the actual performance is on there. So you can see this time we've got multiple threads, so we've got four threads. So in theory it should be four times as fast. Okay, so you can see it's uh, increasing as it goes on there. And that is it. We are mining Zcash. Um, so the difference between this one and there is other standalone miners, um, but at the moment they've kind of been coming and going. So the guys that are obviously creating these other miners uh, are working on these. So when a new standalone miner becomes available, I'll be sure to do a video on that. But like I say, at the moment, this miner is mining uh, Zcash, but then it's exchanging it directly for Bitcoin. So that might be better for you or worse. Um, but like I say, I will do another video if you directly want to mine Zcash and keep the, the coins itself and keep those in your wallet or whatnot. So hopefully you found this uh, video useful and you've got started mining Zcash, exchange it for Bitcoin and hopefully making some uh, profit from it. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching or found this information useful. If you have, then please give it a like. You know, if you, and if you like this kind of video, then be sure to subscribe because I upload videos like this on a pretty regular basis now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.